to work on making some play-doh together if you uh, look in your pantry you're most likely to have these four ingredients flour salt oil and baking powder so this is all you need um, it's nice if you have a little food coloring you don't have to but this makes it you know pretty um, you'll need a cup measuring cup and a half cup and a tablespoon and that's it um, of course a bowl and you know something to stir with helps too all right so let's get started um, the very first thing is we're going to add the flour and two cups all right and you don't have to get too crazy accurate on this just level it off and put it in the bowl there's another cup all right so there's our two cups of flour our next ingredient is going to be salt we're going to add a half a cup of salt so add that all right so half a cup of salt and then the next ingredient is two tablespoons of baking powder all right so be careful there is a difference between a tablespoon and a teaspoon the tablespoon is your larger one so <laughs> tablespoon one tablespoon two tablespoons and once you have that, it's good to just mix it up just a little bit before we start adding our wet ingredients, okay? Now, once that's all together, the next thing is we're going to add the oil. Now, this is just canola oil, but you can, it can be any type of vegetable oil or honestly baby oil oil any kind of oil is great two tablespoons of oil all right and then the last thing is we need to add between one cup and one and a half cups of hot water all right so i'm gonna come over here to the sink and make sure my water is hot, somewhat hot. <laughs> and there's one cup. And then on this next, on this half cup, I'm gonna add it as needed. So I'm gonna have it ready, but I'm gonna wait I'm going to start mixing it together before I add all that because I may not need all of this. I want to start mixing together. And it's going to be really sticky, okay? But you just, this is the, probably the most important step is to mix this very thoroughly. Okay. It's actually looking a little dry. So I'm gonna add a little more water, but I'm gonna I don't wanna add all that quite yet. I'm gonna add a little bit. Mix this in. Now the worst thing you could do is add all the water and it's too sticky and then you would just need to add a little more flour 
to compensate so that's no big deal if you add too much water you can add extra flour to make it the right consistency <clears throat> now I think mine is close to the consistency that I would like and honestly, I mean, there's quite a bit of water still left there. Now what I want to do now at this step is clean out a little spot on my counter, get a little flour, and just throw it out. And we're going to roll it out and just kind of knead it around like you would if it was bread dough. Okay. And this way, this is really going to help it help all the ingredients to be combined really well and then we'll see by touch you'll be able to tell if it's the right consistency as far as the play-doh and you can add more flour if needed this is really super soft right now and I know right now I do not want to add any more water okay so it's really super soft it actually might be a little too soft so I can keep adding a little a little bit of flour and I'm going to keep kneading keep kneading and keep kneading for a little while and then I'm going to get to a point where I feel good about it and then I'll add some color so it will be a little more exciting Okay, we're really getting close, but it's still feeling a little sticky to me. So I'm going to just keep on adding until I like the way it feels and it's not sticking to my hands. It's actually getting to be a really good consistency at this point. You notice it's not sticking to the counter. Now if I squeezed it, you know, through my fingers and I get a lot of dough left on my hand, you'll know you'll want to keep adding a little bit of flour. Um, Alright, so I'm going to stop at this point and see about adding some color. Now you can use the liquid food coloring, you know, with the, you can just drop it out or this is a gel and this really is somewhat messy. I'm going to use a toothpick, just dot a little bit in there. If you want to have, split your dough in half and have some of the dough, one color and another part of the dough, another color, you certainly, that, this would be the time to do that, okay? So, and I didn't mean to get that on the counter, <laughs> but, all right. All right, let's come and mix it all in. And I'm probably gonna need a little bit more. If your dough gets too sticky as you're adding your coloring, just add more flour, okay? All right, so that's gonna be all I'm gonna do on that. Okay. And just keep on working it in until you get it mixed in. <clears throat> you can make it as dark as you like. It's a nice color now. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it like it is 
for now. And that's really, that's super fun. This next one, I'm gonna make a green. This is like a gel. And we'll see what this, how this turns out. Okay. You can also use the powder. There's a, uh, there's, there's a lot of different ways you can add color to your dough. Um, you can use tempera paint and because you're not going to be eating this anyway. This is Play-Doh, right? It would taste nasty. So you can, you can add color uh, by, you know, a lot of different methods. Um, but, okay. So that green is really cool. Now don't be afraid of mess because you're going to have a mess. Your hands are going to get, you're going to get some dye on your hands and, but it will clean up. <clears throat> All right. So there you are. Now when you, when you get finished, this is where you can be creative and have fun with, um, you know, look in your kitchen and see what kind of utensils that you could use to experiment with. And I pulled out just a couple things here that might be fun. You know, I want a rolling pin. Okay, this is really cool because it still has kind of a marbly effect. The dot, the all the color hasn't gotten mixed perfectly. And we can make the little butterflies. Okay, like little butterflies. You can make flowers. You can make um, all sorts of things. This is just a slotted spoon, but I thought, hey, would, would that be cool if I tried to experiment and see what would happen by trying to squeeze some of the dough through the slotted spoon? So you can get creative and see, you know, <laughs> what you can make with different, different tools around the kitchen. That's kind of fun. If you don't like the way it looks, start over, squeeze it through, and you know, you might, Make something, make something fun. Um, here's another utensil that you might have in your kitchen. This is a garlic press, and this could get kind of messy, but might be fun to see what what happens when we put that in there. Garlic press. Okay, so. That's really cool. So you can press out some little, little green worms or whatever. But just have fun with it and, and uh, you know, be creative and um, just enjoy your day, you know? All right, so I hope you had fun watching. Uh, try some at home. Four simple ingredients. The recipe will be posted at the end of the video. And um, be creative. Have fun.